Hi everybody, well, this is going to be long, but it's a video of me showing my entire DVD collection. It's going to be in several parts because this flip camera I have can only hold up to one hour's worth of memory. So I'm going to have to upload parts, delete it off the camera, and make more parts. So if like my appearance changes or my shirt changes, it's mainly for that reason. So my DVDs are just stacked in random piles so there is no order of them so I guess we'll start with random movies the the first one we have is Ron Howard's Cocoon uh, this is a pretty good movie it's this is actually kind of a funny movie at some point it's got a uh, Wilford Brimley from what does he do like the diabetes commercials or something like diabetic medication commercials or something like that. This is a pretty fine movie. So we have his Heavyweights. Another pretty fine comedy movie. You can tell it's by Disney, you know. Usually all family movies, if you notice, come in white DVD cases like that. And like Disney, for some reason, they never put the years the movie were made. I think this was in the mid-90s, but I don't know. Heavyweights. Frozen by Adam Green. This is a, you know, think uh, 90 minutes on a ski lift. Don't you think that movie would kind of get boring after a while? It doesn't. This is a very entertaining movie. Now, one of my, I used to love this movie when I was like really little, and it's since I like only but since I'm like a really big fan of the 1980s, this movie is perfect for me. 16 Candles. I love this movie. I'm running out of room here. I'm just in my little DVD closet here. Tourist Trap. Awesome. Very low budget, but very cool. Death Race 2000. One of Sylvester Stallone's first. Horror Express. I looked it up online. There's like... 12 different DVD editions of this, or at least 12 different covers. Uh, I got this one, the Euroshock collection. It, it is weird, I like, these are all like 70s movies right here, I had them all stacked up that way. Crawl Space. A double feature, Dead of Winter and Audrey Rose. Killer's Delight, aka Sport Killer, aka Dark Ride. Bad Ronald. Caged Terror. Pulse, not the uh, Asian one. This is an American movie. It's really low budget, but it's really funny at how low budget it is. Kill Dozer. Original Exorcist, Time Bandits, Video Dead, John Carpenter's Christine. I like Christine, it's a funny movie. Cool Duders Around the Country movie, Fright Night. Night of the Comet, The Refrigerator, The Killing Jar, I, this is one of my least favorite movies, and I don't like to rat on The Killing Jar because that movie was made in memory of someone, I, I don't really feel good disliking it, but uh, this is one of my favorite bootlegs that I own, Motel Hell, my favorite bootleg right here that I own, Motel Hell is awesome. Bacterium, bootleg of the granny, bad taste, this is a uh, two disc version, I have copy 11,546 out of 50,000, okay. best buy coming attractions volume one, Stephen King's Thinner. 
It's a John Carpenter box set. Comes with They Live, Prince of Darkness, Village of the Damned, and The Thing. Uh, I got two Shriek Show box sets right here, and I'm still waiting on two in the mail. The, the two I have with me are the Vampire Triple Feature with Two Orphan Vampires, Fiance Dracula, and Central Park Drifter Graveyard Shift. Then the other one I have is the Zombie Pack with Zombie 3, 4, and 5. Sorority Babes in the Slime Ball Bowlerama. Maximum Overdrive. Aftermath Genesis. Shocker. And this Chucky box set that comes with Child's Play 2, 3, 4, and 5. I don't think they make it like this anymore where it like slides out of there. You know, you got this hole in there. And, like, you open it like this. I don't think it's like that anymore. Now I think it comes in a, a standard DVD case. I don't know if they make it like that anymore. Alright, I need to cut here for a second. Welcome to the second part in my uh, DVD collection. I got this huge stack right here next to me. I don't know if you can see it in the side of the lens or not, but you know, I'm just gonna let like put it down like this. And I'll just grab random ones out. The stuff. Oh, shouldn't have done this. The stuff. It's a that's a good movie. I like the stuff. Society. This is a bizarre movie. It's good, but it's really, really strange. I don't even. This is really rare and hard to find. I think they were like over twenty bucks for it on Amazon. Faceless. You know I like this movie. You know I hate the ending. If only it had a different ending, I I would have appreciated it way more than I did. Faceless, A.K.A. Le Predator de la Nuit. Troll and Troll 2, waste of money. Everybody knows that. that just, the director's cut of Requiem for a Dream screwed up right there. That's not for people who don't like weird movies. Clint Howard's Ice Cream Man. Intruder autographed by Charles Band of Full Moon Productions. Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Awesome Cheese, The Vineyard, I don't really hear this one talked about too much, it's, it's really kind of a rare, I thought it was good for like as low budget it was, The Vineyard also has like this cool song at the end credits, like, you were always blind, I know, I know, I'm not going to waste time singing, The Burbs, great comedy, the Wizard, funny. So it's, it's this a movie all about Nintendo and all the video games. Now this one right here was given to me as a prank last year for my birthday. One of my friends gave this to me at a as a prank, so I did not go out and buy this on my own. It's Thomas and Friends. Percy takes the plunge. One of my friends got this for me for my birthday as a prank. I just kept it for the hell of it. I have not watched this. I am not going to, but. Oh, look at the one train. It's like all covered in mud on the back. Oh. Now we have the uh, Pure 80s DVDs. We have Pure 80s, the DVD. Pure 80s DVD, Video Idols. These are all 80s music videos. And uh, Pure 80s, Totally New Wave. Those are all music videos. Sweet Evil. This is a really rare one. Not too many people talk about this one. It's uh, Bridget Wilson and Peter Boyle. Peter Boyle, you know, you probably know him from Everybody Loves Raymond and shows like that. Edward Scissorhands. Hollow Man. That's a good sci-fi movie. Hollow Man 2 is not. Hollow Man 2 sucks. Alright, I'm going into the uh, Children of the Corn movies right now, and right when I'm done with this, they're gonna I'm gonna start a new part. So we got 
the normal DVD of Children of the Corn. Then we have the special edition DVD by the Divamax edition, as Anchor Bay calls their special edition DVDs. Uh, Bootleg of Children of the Corn 2. This is a VHS transfer. It's got all the music and special effects and deleted scenes that the VHS had that this DVD didn't. This DVD is so overpriced online. And it's a crap version. That's why I cannot understand why people are selling it for like $89. This is a piece of crap. Children of the Corn 3. Urban Harvest. Children of the Corn 4. The Gathering. Children of the Corn 5. Fields of Terror. Children of the Corn 666. I hated this one. I thought it was really boring. And uh, Children of the Corn Revelation, which I found somewhat entertaining. But I'm going to go to a new part right now, so I'll see you all in the next video.